Good evening and welcome to the latest edition of the Huskies Senior Night. Tonight we're going to recognize a couple South Point seniors who made the trip up. Lizzie Stan, number four, and number 14, Bree Mitchie. We wish you guys the best as you move forward. Tonight we have a special guest. We have three future Huskies joining us to help out the ceremony. Nora Winnington, Karis Goon, and Elise Service. this evening by Tara Hunter, her mother. Her favorite memory is making so many friends and being so close with the team. Casey. Her favorite lacrosse memory is all the people I've met playing the sport. My best friends are all from lacrosse and I couldn't have found a better group of people to be surrounded by. It has given me so many long-term friends that I will forever cherish. She's joined this evening by Jerry and Gretchen Mastelon. Her favorite memory is playing with Camry Will. She's joined this evening by her parents, Matthew and Jessica Sweet. Her favorite lacrosse memory is the last game with Team Arizona. Shout out Coach Bill, Coach Jim. Psychology. She's joined this evening by Kevin and Meredith Brady. Her favorite lacrosse memory is just the team in general. Make so many memories, good times, and it's enjoyable to be around them. Hey lacrosse fans, welcome to this presentation of Arizona Girls Lacrosse brought to you by South Mountain Lacrosse. We're at Tumbleweed Park here in Chandler, Arizona and it's senior night for the Huskies as they host 
the team from down south, South Point Catholic Lancers up to play this powerhouse of a Chandler team, still undefeated at 7 and 0. Oh. And a few more games on the docket yet for Chandler as they'll be doing our makeup game with Cactus Shadows and also playing Horizon next week. But the visiting South Point Lancer is getting this first draw control. Number eight here, Tegan Mitch Mitchke working behind X. Tries the crease roll, but not able to get the angle. Ball sailing to the sideline. And one of our seniors here, number five, Callie Dunn, bringing it back in for Chandler. This one cleared out by Isabel Kiaz O'Sullivan in the cage to start here for Chandler tonight. And up to Sienna Whittington. Looking for Tabitha Goon. Pass a little high. Ground ball picked up by number two, Sofia Garcia. As Garcia works down the far side. Mia Doyle on the ride. So far, Lancers working on the slow, br uh, slow break. Excuse me. As they set up the ISO opportunity, Ari Jacobs coming in, and South Point on the board first. South Point goal number eleven. Tabitha Goon on the draw. This one gets over to Chandler. Past the restraining line. Picked up by Lily Durgy. And off the crossbar. This shot. As Durgy hits the deck. This ball backed up by Chandler. Tabitha Goon looking for the feed inside to Whittington. She's able to pick it up but saved by South Point. Let's go, I'm trying to get a read on the South Point goalie number here. Tabitha Goon coming in with the trail check. But Sofia Garcia able to hold on to this. Ryan Mastelon coming in. Another senior here tonight. Picking up the ground ball. Tries to get the shot off. And I believe it's number 40, Ava Munez. In the cage for Sal Point with a couple saves so far. Now Mia Doyle picking it up. Coming in one on one. And saved again. What a performance early in this game from Munez. Now Whittington coming in, 
Waiting for the angle into the stick for Munez. And after an onslaught of shots from Chandler, South Point able to withstand, gets possession back. Great defensive stand here for South Point. But in trouble in the midfield as they look to transition. Ground ball picked up by Chandler. Over to Whittington. And now Ava Witt coming in. And she's got the top right corner. Now Ari Jacobs, number 11, on the draw with Tabitha Goon for South Point and Chandler, respectively. This draws up. And chase down. Goon snags this one. Passes up to Ava Witt. And Witt back to Goon. Little give and go. The assist from Witt to Goon. Ari Jacobs with the draw win for South Point. And feeds over to number four, Elizabeth Sand, or Lizzie Sand, as she prefers. One of the seniors here for South Point playing tonight. And working around. Passes up to Bree Mitchke, the other senior on this South Point Lancers team. It's a fairly young team for Lancers, just two seniors this season. And Lizzie Stan working one on one against Kendall Tacey. Passes inside, tries to get the shot off, broken up in traffic. But Tacey able to keep this one in play. And now Mia Doyle coming up the near side. And Ava Witt Trying to pass up to Durgy. Not able to make the connection, but able to hold possession with Chandler. The ground ball picked up on the inside by Tabitha Goon, and she's got another goal. Let's go, Lizzie! 
And a legal procedure called against Chandler. So this ball is going to be awarded to the Lancers as Ari Jacobs gets past the restraining line. Jacobs looking for an angle, working around the crease, tries to feed inside. Doesn't have the feeder, ground ball here. This 50-50 picked up by Doyle. Finds an open, Ava Witt. Coming in hot, Ava Witt. Looking for the shot, but saved by Munez. And so far, Munez. Over 50% saves tonight, having a great start. Eva Munez feeds up. And South Point in transition, showing some good ball control. And well executed passes as they come in getting inside the CSA and certainly an improved South Point team over what we've seen in the past. Two wins on the season for South Point coming in. Win last week against Horizon and a win earlier in the season against Corona del Sol and Ari Jacobs had the open lane. So Lizzie Stan bringing it back in. And Ari Jacobs on the hanging hash. Gets the eight meter shot against Kiesel O'Sullivan in the cage for Chandler. Jacob coming in. And had a good effort, but Kiesel O'Sullivan reading it. Gets the high to high stick save. Now Callie Dunn on the move. Clears it out for Chandler. Over to Witt. Has a look up to Whittington, not able to handle the cradle. Nice Sorry, not Whittington. Uh, Durgy. <laughs> and up to Whittington as Durgy faced some tough one on one defense from South Point, but Ava Witt drawing the shooting space call. And now Ava Witt with the free position on Ava Munez in the cage. Shoots low, Munez with the save ball. High. Goes out the back side of the end zone here and backed up by Chandler as they bring it back in. Now Mastelon driving in, has the ball checked out, picked up by Whittington. Now Whittington to Witt, beautiful execution on the assist as Ava Witt comes in and gets a top shelf shot. Second on the night for Witt. Two for Ava Witt, two for Tabitha Goon. As Chandler takes a 4-1 lead. Ari Jacobs fighting Mia Doyle. And Jacobs able to get the draw control for Sal Point. Finds a safety escape. Sierra Cordova in transition working down the far end for Lancers. And Ari Jacobs. Looking for the pass up filled, but not able to pull it in is number eight, T. Mitchke. So as it goes out of bounds, Sienna Whittington will be on the restart for the Huskies. Oh. 
one minute to play in the quarter. One minute. Kendall Tacey helping getting the ground ball in the midfield. And that one picked up by Maddie Hansen. But ball out of bounds. Back to Lancers. Clock continues to run here as play takes a while to get restarted here. Player stepping in bounds. But with that, clock strikes zero in the first quarter. Quick update on the 50 4 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in front of the left side of the cage, but it's 
horses. Dead, looks for the feed to Mastalon. Yeah. 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 for a push. Shot attempted from Mastalon. Nothing getting through at this point. South Point just making a great stop here. Chandler continues to own the ball. Starting to pull this out and spread out this defense a little bit. Certainly, as it gets packed in tight, had a hard time getting through this South Point D. Yeah, Mastalon. So, illegal use of stick called against South Point. It's going to take Durgy back to the penalty dot for a restart for Chandler. Illegal 
cross check called against 26, Sierra Cordova. So she goes behind Bergie with the eight meter shot on Nunez. this Huskies team. Huskies go! Number seven, Tabalagu! shot from Chandler's best attackers on the doorstep. Ava <laughs> Witt tries to turn around with the shovel shot. Backed up by Nastalon. One minute to play in the half. One minute. Marked up well. And going to have a yellow against Chandler here for a dangerous shot. We send Dirty off field on the yellow card for the dangerous propel. So with that, South Point here going to be player up. And that yellow card will transfer over into the second half, so they will have a full two minute advantage. With that player up over Chandler. Locked down to five seconds here, and uh, South Point looks to transition. But the clock hits zero. And that's going to do it for the first half.
Having had more possession here tonight than Shanna, possibly at least close to 50 50, and gets a shot off here. Sam Martin now in the net in the second half. Shanna makes the save to pick us up. of this game and one of the advantages here is they take their time on these shots and getting that shot clock is as long as they're possessing the ball Chandler is not so one way to slow down this Chandler attack is just to possess and hold on and all night we've seen here South Point not pressing anything trying to be smart make smart choices with the shots and the passes and not trying to rush around Tabitha Green, loses the ball for a second, but able to pick it back up. Yes, yeah, so we got timeout from South Point on the field, 6-12 here in the third. The 
coming off the timeout. Both teams resume play. All right, Jacobs working for Max. Here coming off the timeout. And now they've got it going. Blake. Number 12 taking this three position shot against Sam Martin. South point goal number 12. Blake Katarowski gets on the board. First goal here in the second half. 541 to play in the third. Stop, clears it out. Oh, 
Huskies go to number 12, Mia Doyle! Number seven, Tara by Jacobs. hit by a stick or ball and heads off field. Doesn't look 
to be too serious. Play resumes here. Hopefully we'll see her back in play shortly. Jacobs coming in. And that ball finds its way to the back of the net. And Ari Jacobs. South point goal number 11. Well, we have a quick shout out to the young man on the South Point sideline celebrating his birthday tonight. Happy birthday. Huskies go number 22, Ryan Masterlove.
Goon. Look inside, Casey broken up. Nunez coming in. Picking it up. Clearing it out. Oh, 
comes out. It gets checked. An easy look here for Ava Ritt as she puts one in the net. Huskies goal number four, Ava Witt.
against the goalie, so possession going to get given to South Korea. Can't 
go over that restraining line to avoid going offside, but they were able, able to come in and pick it up. It looks like we're just going to hold on to it here. See if they try to get another shot off. The clock hits zero, and that's going to be your final.